Mephistopheles is a German creation and a devil who appears in other German myths. His name is derived from two Hebrew words meaning destroyer and liar. Other scholars claim it is an amalgam of three Greek words which mean one who does not love the light. His role in Marlowe's play is complex as he must be demonic and act as a tempter to Faustus but also befriend the doctor, offer him wisdom and mediate between Faustus and Lucifer. As a result of this um, variety of motivations it's hard to truly understand which of the motives the character regards as the most important. After all he can't truly be a friend to Faustus if his loyalty is with Lucifer. For the purposes of this talk I'm going to focus on three areas about the character. First is his role as an example to Faustus, second is his loyalty to Lucifer and finally third his ambiguous friendship with Faustus. Initially Mephistopheles appears to Faustus as a devil but is quote too ugly to attend on me. Therefore he commands, uh, Faustus commands him to return in the form of quote an old Franciscan friar that holy shape becomes a devil best. Aside from the barbed comment aimed at the Catholic Church here we see Mephistopheles as a biddable character willing to please Faustus and it's supported by his first spoken line in the play he asks now Faustus what wouldst thou have me do? From the beginning we're given the firm impression that the demon will be a servant to the doctor. However within a few short lines the complexity of the relationship is established when Mephistopheles explains that I am a servant to great Lucifer and may not follow thee without his leave. No more than he commands must we perform. He may appear to Faustus to do his bidding, but his loyalty always resides with Lucifer. Thus, for the rest of the play, the audience must question why he is doing the things that he does for Faustus. Is it because there is a real friendship, or is he simply fulfilling the agreed contract? Just because they met through these deadly circumstances, though, doesn't mean they can't genuinely be friends. The early motivations of the character are revealed when Mephistopheles explains that whenever devils hear someone, quote, abjure the scriptures, they, quote, fly and hope to get his glorious soul. It was not Faustus's conjuring that raised the devil in the first place, more his rejection of Christianity. Mephistopheles arrives because he feels Faustus, quote, is in danger to be damned. Obtaining his soul was his first motivation. However, under questioning from Faustus, Mephistopheles seems to peel away layers of his character, talking about circumstances which led him to be thrown from, quote, the face of heaven. He seems to crack and implores Faustus to, quote, leave these frivolous demands. This is hardly a devil trying to gain a man's soul. He is recommending to Faustus that he turn away from his black magic. Suddenly, he seems to be looking out for Faustus, trying to help him save his soul. Indeed, the idea of Faustus losing his soul strikes, quote, a terror to my fainting soul. It seems reasonable to suppose that this is because Mephistopheles has seen hell, which awaits Faustus. When the doctor asks about hell, Mephistopheles replies, Thinkst thou that I who saw the face of God and tasted the eternal joys of heaven am not tormented with ten thousand hells in being deprived of everlasting bliss. Simply having seen heaven and now being denied heaven means that Mephistopheles is constantly aware of what is absent. He seems to gesture around him when he says, why this is hell, nor am I out of it. Later he confirms this suffering by saying that all places shall be hell that is not heaven. In the pair's second scene together, Mephistopheles turns to the audience and he breaks the fourth wall in this aside to them. He whispers, oh, what will I not, or what will not I do to obtain his soul? Again, he seems to have returned to his primary role and his sympathy for Faustus is gone. He indicates that he will do whatever it takes to take the doctor's soul. When Faustus reads the inscription Homo Fuge on his arm, and is on the verge of abandoning the contract, Mephistopheles acts quickly and he says, 
I'll fetch him somewhat to delight his mind before bringing in devils onto the stage to dance and to distract him. This performance dismisses doubt from the doctor's mind and he finally signs away his soul. It's important to note that Mephistopheles deliberately distracts Faustus from his moment of doubt. He must collect his soul and will do whatever it takes to do so. When promising to do as Faustus asks, the devil uses interesting vocabulary. He says, I will be thy slave and wait on thee, and give thee more than thou hast wit to ask. It's not clear to the audience if the devil is promising to give Faustus things which are so great that they are almost beyond human comprehension, or if he is suggesting that Faustus is not intelligent enough to see through the trick that is being played on him. He seems to essentially be saying, you will get more than you bargained for. From this point on, however, Mephistopheles does Faustus' bidding, aware that in 24 years his soul will belong to Lucifer.